Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Into the Sarlacc. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Galaxy's Edge haul. I went to Galaxy's Edge a couple of weeks ago and it was honestly the best time of my life. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I bought. The first thing I bought in Galaxy's Edge was this amazing, amazing acrylic mug. I bought the drink at Oga's Cantina. The drink is called Yub Nub. Careful with this now. It's got the Battle of Endor. You got a lot of Ewoks. You got some X Wings. You got the Millennium Falcon there. ATST. What looks like C3PO and R2D2. That's pretty fun. First edition. I don't know if they're going to make any more mugs, but. I'm really happy I got this. This equals to 48.49. It's not cheap, I'll tell you that, but really worth it. The next thing I bought was this Thermal Detonator Coke bottle. This thing is pretty cool. I like how it looks. You know, plastic bottle cap inside there, but I like the design of it. Yeah, I had to drink it. I was really thirsty, but pretty cool. I like this. I keep this for display in my shelf. <clears throat> Excuse me. This thing was six credits. Well worth it. Next item on the list is the Han Solo dice as seen in Solo the movie and in The Last Jedi. Let's see if I could get around. Oh, there it is. I like these dice. Very basic of me, but I have them hanging on the rear view mirror like any good Star Wars fan would. I actually bought two of these. Shout out to you, Alex, that you got one of them. I like them a lot. I like them. I hope I don't disappear if I hold them. I bought two of these, which were 32.30. That's how much they were. 3230. Next item on the list are these amazing Sith Stones. Sith Stones. So this one is from Darth Vader. This one is from Darth Sidious. Pretty sweet looking stones. Emperor Palpatine right there and Darth Vader over here. So in the back of these stones, on the one for Darth Vader it says, I find your lack of faith disturbing. And for the one with Emperor Palpatine, it says, let the hate flow through you, which this actually belongs to my wife because I got the one for Darth Vader. They're probably the cheapest item on Doc on Dark, so that's why I went for them. I told my wife to get one too. I thought that was the only thing she was gonna get <laughs> in Gags's Edge. Yeah, there you go. Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, looking fresh, like it. So each one of those were, let's see, 798, 798 for the Sith tokens. Okay, up next, we got some pretty good looking items. My favorite actually, one of my favorites. We got both the Sith Holocron and the Jedi Holocron. Like I mentioned in my earlier videos, I said I was gonna go for the Sith and Jedi Holocron. And look at this. Okay. Sith Holocron right there. And when I hold it out here, like this. We are the Sith. That's creepy. That's actually creepy. Let's see what else it says. Do you know who I am? Yeah, we actually Mark Hamill, which I love, by the way. I love that Darth Bane is Mark Hamill. Let's see, let's hear another one. We are oh my god. Goodness, that's creepy. In order to get different voices, you have to put different kyber crystals. I'm gonna try that in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Jedi Holocron. So you have to be really careful in the corners. 
Okay. Let's see what it says. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. Nice! Obi Wan Kenobi. I love that. I was hoping to hear Obi Wan's voice when I got this, and when I first heard it, I was pretty stoked. I liked it. So let's see what else he says. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the Temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. I love it. I love that it says that it gives us the message to when Order 66 is happening. Um, right on. Right on. Okay, so that's enough of that. Yeah. You know what? Let's go ahead and try putting a kyber crystal on here. It's been a while since I've used the kyber crystal. Okay. Let's see. Oh. I didn't get into the kyber crystals. I actually bought a blue one. And where's the red one? And a red one. So let's try these on with the holocron. Let's see what it says. You were the Jedi Master who was responsible for the training and creation of Darth Vader. Huh. Master Skywalker. And the last Jedi. Who? Cool. I love that it's Master Skywalker. I'm, I'm glad the I got him. Force is not a power you have. It's not about lifting rocks. It's the energy between all things, the tension, the balance that binds the universe together. Great message. Thank you, Master Skywalker. Okay. I'm going to turn this off now. Let's go ahead and try the Sith Holocron. I have fun just doing this, honestly. I, I had to improvise. I, I wasn't planning to show off the holocrons like this, but I couldn't help myself. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's put the red kyber crystal on there. If one is to understand the great mystery, one must study all its aspects, not just the dogmatic narrow view of the Jedi. If you wish to become a complete and wise leader, you must embrace a larger view of the Force. Chief. Palpatine. Nice. I'm pretty Makes angry you today. Stronger. I don't feel too strong, but I am pretty angry today. Because I didn't get more sour stuff. Or more toy sours. Okay. That's one more thing, one more thing. Let's see what it says. The force is strong with you. Emperor Palpatine. A powerful Sith. You will become. Yes. I love hearing this. Okay, that's that's enough of that. Let's see what happens when I add a blue kyber crystal to the Sith Holocron. Ah, uh, this turned from a from a showcase Galaxy's Edge Hall to playing with holocrons. Unpredictable. Oh, it turns blue. I forgot. I forgot it turns blue. Okay, where is it? Right, right, right. It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. You are now mine. What? That's pretty sithy, if you ask me. Good. 
Use your aggressive feeling. Let the heat flow through you. Nice. Got the quote from that Sith token I showed you earlier. Pretty cool. Okay, one more. There is no escape, my young apprentice. All right. Now, let's see what that Jedi Holocron has to say with this red kyber crystal. Is calling at me. Nice. Okay. Everywhere. Anger, fear, aggression. The dark side are they. Once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. Oh, so pretty much what you get is Master Yoda being mad at you. Interesting. One more, one more. If you end your training now, if you choose the quick and easy path, as Vader did, you will become an agent of evil. So he's pretty much mad because I'm turning into a dark path. Okay, let's turn this off. No, let's try something else. Something else I want to try. I've, I've tried it once and it worked. Let's see if it works again. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Yes, me. Let's see what happens when we combine these two. Scared that's gonna be a limited power. You can feel it. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashlar and Bogan. Oh. The light and the dark. I'm the one in the middle. The, the Bandu. Bandu. Oh, nice. Do you know where he's from? Have you seen him before? Do you know who the Bandu is? Comment down below. Where's his appearance from? I know where he's from. I've seen him a couple I times. No I am beyond your worrying and wars. I am unseen, unknowable. Like a rock in the river. If two such powerful sources of knowledge are united, they will grant a clarity of vision beyond your kind. When joined, any secret, wisdom, or destiny can be seen through the Force. One could bring much chaos with such hidden truths. Oh, I'm glad I got these two. Oh, well, see, excuse me. I got too excited there, so I I forgot to talk about the price. But that that's, that was pretty cool. I, I like. I don't get to play with them too much because I have them in display. But each one of those were fifty dollars. Let's see. Let's see exactly how much it was. No, that's not it. Yeah, they were fifty dollars. The Kyber crystals were fourteen ninety nine each. Fourteen ninety nine. So I got two of them. I saved the best for last. And it's this amazing lightsaber. This is the protection and defense lightsaber. I loved it. The moment I saw it, the moment I saw the colors, the moment I saw the details on this, I knew I had to get it. Yeah, pretty sick. It's pretty heavy too. It's heavier than I thought. I did a video on how I built it, if you want to go check it out. A weapon for the most civilized age. That doesn't work unless you put a kyber crystal on there. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. This is the kyber crystal that I got at Savi's workshop. Let me see if I can cover it up a little bit. Okay. Violet crystal or purple crystal from Mace Windu. Okay, just finishing up, setting up the saber. 
or the hilt. Make sure this thing is off. Ah! That would have chopped out my hand! Oh! Isn't this nice? So. Hear the, hear the sound. Hear the sound of this. Now, my wife pointed out that it turns green every time you like, move it really quick. I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, pretty sick. Pretty sick saber. Definitely my favorite thing or the best thing to get at Galaxy's Edge. I also bought the hilt stand, which is amazing. Yeah, for display purposes. I don't want to hide my lightsaber on its uh, back that it came with. So there you go. Pretty sick looking saber right there, man. Reminds me of the Old Republic. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The hilt sand was $24.99. Along with that, I also bought a belt clip. It's an extra item you can get, but it comes in handy. Honestly, well worth it. Having your belt doesn't move too much. Anybody that wants to cosplay as a Jedi or Sith, I highly recommend getting this if you go to the park. Pretty cool. So that itself, was $17.99 for this piece of plastic. You know what? I was gonna buy it anyway, so it didn't matter if it was over 20 bucks. So the grand total that I spent was $5.79 with 60 cents. That's how much I spent on two days in Galaxy's Edge, just two days. And I'm not talking about Disneyland or California Adventure. That's a different monster. I'm talking about things that I bought, including food and drinks at Galaxy's Edge. Total of $5.79 with 60 cents. I said I wasn't gonna spend more than $500, but you know what, $80 extra, that's not that bad. I thought I was gonna spend more. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about all the things I got. Uh, I'm actually gonna go again in April. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna buy more stuff. But now since I had my first experience in Galaxy's Edge, I am looking forward to it again and I'm happy I'm going in April so and you guys are gonna watch one more time I'm probably not gonna do another long video like I did for my first Galaxy's Edge trip but I'm gonna record more seeing that I know what to expect now the rides the food uh, Olga's Cantina so stick around for that Thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of Into the Starlight. See you guys next week's video. This is the way.